Hey Caster, Derek here, Brick Six Clan. Still at Mingo Madness, and I got another great Gadget Cash Builder just for you. Let's check them out. All right, so I am with our peeper CO, or I'm just gonna call him Rick. Oh my gosh, talk about creating some really phenomenal caches out in the Colorado, Colorado Springs, Colorado Springs yep. area. I've seen them on Facebook. I've talked to them on Gadget Talk. Finally get to meet you and actually look at these caches. It's such a cool way of doing these. Now, the one I want to talk about is your Marauder's Map. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the Marauder's Map and how you came up with that. And hey, this is kind of where I kind of got the idea of my seven segment display. So <laughs> this is this is the guy. All right, so I can't, don't, hey, I don't claim I come up with all the ideas myself. I have help. So. Tell me about this story. Okay, well, um, my son for his birthday, we bought him one of those little electronic uh, kit boxes that have all the electronic pieces and you connect the wires with the springs. Um, one of the projects was to play with the seven segment display on there. Right. And so he's getting different numbers to show up and he's like, hey dad, this would be really cool if we made a cache with these numbers and you could give the combination to it. I was like, that's a great idea. Um, so what I did is um, I went ahead and ordered the little circuit boards, the right. little um, biscuit boards and a couple segment, seven segment displays. We put it on there and then I had him do the work. Um, he knew which pins to use and he knew how to solder. So I held the wires down and he soldered them all on. Um, not gonna lie, we failed the first time. Um, we got some numbers that we didn't think were what yeah. we were after. Right. It was supposed to be a four, it turned out to be a seven. I don't know how that happens, but it happened. Yeah. So we had to unsolder a few things, get that together, get that together, and we ended up with a really neat um, three-digit seven-segment display. So um, but before then, you go, yeah. How many times did you solder your fingers? Is what none, I none. None. <laughs> That's a lot of chess. It's, it's like holding a nail for somebody I, to hammer. And if you look at those wires in there, they're no more than probably oh. a half inch on the short ones. Um, but. Uh, I did the design work as far as how to lay it out. Right. Um, I had to get the right resistors, you know, yeah. for the LEDs that are in there. Um, so he did all the work. So we had a nice little PCB board with the three segment display that worked. So we had to come up with something. Well, his caching name is Marauder Jude. Okay. Um, so I was like, well, let's go ahead and do a Harry Potter theme. And he loved it. That's awesome. So what we did is we went ahead and created, a, I just created a birdhouse box, um, threw in a micro switch in there to actually turn it on and off. Um, and as you see, when you pull the drawer open, that actually powers it up. That's, and there's a nice yeah. LED up there. And then you use the lightning bolts, which is Harry Potter theme. Right. And uh, Marauder's Map is exactly what all my kids get into. I solemnly swear, I'm up to no good. That's right. <laughs> they I can... always tell me that. Yeah. Um, of course, they're doing no good. Right. Um, so anyways, I got the birdhouse design. We got all that squared away. Um, but then I needed to finish it. Right. So I wanted the old school look, um, the castle look. Um, so I started shopping around for dollhouse stuff. Okay. Um, believe it or not, it's no longer a thing in America. Um, I had to order that stuff from Europe okay. where the dollhouse manufacturers are. So I got some cool little draw, uh, paper to go on the side. Um, and that's all sealed on with uh, polyacrylic. Okay. And then it's coated with polyacrylic and then I've got a UV protectant over the whole thing. I'm hoping that holds up outside. <laughs> time you know, will tell. Time will tell. It is paper yeah. and it very well could right. fade, but we'll see how it goes. Right. Um, but it turned out great once that uh, the seven segment is mounted in there. It all fits perfect. I've got the battery case tucked up underneath yeah, to power it all. Yeah. And it looks beautiful. It does. Uh, it turned right. out great. I mean, as you've been seeing the video throughout the whole interview, the finish work on this and all your caches are, have this beautiful finish work. I'm very jealous. Uh, just look phenomenal. Rick, thank you so much for raising the bar of this game and doing everything that you do. And thank you for sharing the story behind your cache. Thank you. So, hey, leave us a comment down below. I want to hear, have you found any of his caches out there in Colorado Springs? Let me know. Leave a comment. Look up his caches when you're in the area. Our hey, people are CO. Our people are CO. But check them out. Go have fun. Go find them. Be gentle. Because they're gadget caches. Please. All right. But hey. Thanks for joining us. Don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these stories just right over here, right over Rick's face, and find the story behind the cache.